PTCGO, so I just kind of wanted to try to get a little bit of a head start on that. We have new prizes uh, here. It looks like this month we're get uh, uh, our rewards are Venusaur, Tag Team GX, and a full art Erica's Hospitality. I definitely want to get all those uh, in the next 20 days. So let's go ahead and get started. This is also kind of killing two birds with one stone uh, Pokemon. So for those of you who are into it competitively, it, we are uh, upon us is a new Players' Cup. Uh, Pokemon is doing it a little bit differently. They had a Players' Cup over the summer. But to be honest, Pokemon is super vague with how you qualify for their PTCGO events. They should really handle this differently because um, so many other other organizations that I've played in a, in, uh, in uh, Pokemon tournaments have been ran really well. But basically, it looks like they're setting aside a certain amount of tickets so you can try to qualify for for it. I am going to be try to be shooting for it, um, but I want to. Uh, my top deck going into this is ADP. It's meta, but it's good. And if this is the deck that I'm going to go and play with for this tournament or try to and other tournaments. Uh, basically, I'm just trying to uh, sort out ADP to be able to play against the things that it doesn't do well with, uh, get that turn one alter creation off, and kind of one unique thing I have in here right now is Copper Jaw. I do think it's necessary to have at least one stage one, so when I play against things like Obstagoon or Decidueye, um, Malwiles also there kind of help, ar uh, help around that. Um, those additions have really helped. And if I could find room to put in two to four uh, Crush and Hammers for the mirror match, I would love to. And then I would feel really good about being able to kind of counter anything in this current meta. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started. Um, if anyone's checking out the live stream, that's awesome. I had some friends yesterday uh, chime in as well, which was great to have them. Uh, yesterday, I had two former, uh, no, two, not former, still friends, we just don't get to play in person right now. Uh, two really awesome friends that checked out, that played with me on the live stream yesterday. Uh, that was super, that was super fun. Looks like it sounds good over there. Uh, that was super fun yesterday uh, to have some friends on, so they'll probably um, be coming in here and there in the future as well. But let's go ahead and see what we can do with ADP today. Um, and let's get started. So their dark type box over there makes me think we're playing against Eternatus. Let's see if we can come on top of that. This is kind of a rough-ish starting hand. I can't remember. Was I going first? I was. Um, fire, fire stuff. So we could get Donk on this first turn. Let's just go ahead and hope he... I don't think he can get four fire energy in play, but there's plenty of fire Pokemon out there that could attack the Zacian and get the turn one Donk. Um, but let's just keep our fingers crossed that they have kind of a rough starting hand. Uh, not too good of a start there. Either this is a lot of things. Actually, it's not too bad to discard. Um, I might have not wanted to go for that water energy, but I think my other water energy was there. So that's good at least. Yesterday's live stream was really fun. It was the most popping live stream we've had. Uh, tonight, this one, I did prompt. I didn't even put anything out over on TikTok or anything. Um, but this is the deck that I'm going... That I'm definitely... Um, looking into playing the deck that I'm uh, uh, going to play. I think it's the best deck in the format. I, I usually try to come up with some kind of rogue deck or something fun as well, but I don't mind playing meta right now in this current, in this current, in the current environment that we're in right now. Um, usually I have other opportunities like league challenges and smaller events to play with some uh, fun decks or rogue decks, uh, but there's really just not too many too many opportunities to play like competitively or in tournaments so i really want to make those chances count so playing meta does kind of secure you a spot uh, to at least have the best chance of you know have a good time cool we survived that's good. So, um, kind of weird. Basically, we got to start over again. Uh, start this turn over. Uh, yeah, so we have to play that. Go ahead, play this turbo patch. Uh, that failed. Let's attach this floating balloon here. Um, I actually don't want to, because I hope to get alter creation off this turn. This is asking for a lot, but let's go ahead and see what happens here. 
Okay, okay, we can work. We can work with this. Let's go ahead put all this here like this. Uh, let's see. I am gonna go for that water energy. That other water energy that was it was prized. Shoot. So this is looking less and less. So I know what I want to do now. Uh, knowing that it's prized, I either have to hit a another turbo patch, a energy switch. Uh, it's not looking good for this first match right now. Okay, I don't even want to grab anything. I'm thinking it, it might even be best just to attach some energy. Because he doesn't have a lot of things down here right now, so I might actually do that and just kind of bank on the fact that we won't be able to use Alter Creation. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play this aggressively then and hope to try to just attack this turn. Uh, let's see. Not impossible. It's still technically not impossible to get the Alter Creation off. Um, so we got, already, we got one there. Let's see. Uh, let's go grab a Dedene. Uh, I guess we'll discard Maul while we might be discarding this whole hand. Anyways, I don't think I really need Maul while in this matchup. Um, it's actually not impossible to get the Alter Creation off. If I can get this Turbo... Wait, I already... I already attached a steel energy, so, so I'm not feeling hopeful about that game plan. Okay, like I said, my luck and hitting, the reason why I think I have three turbo patches in this luck, I have terrible luck flipping heads, as as do most people do on PTCGO. Um, but let's see, can we get an attack off this turn? We're not going to get an attack off this turn, and I am going to retreat down to this crowbat. Uh, I think that is the right right action plan. Let's see, we have retreat here. And we'll just go ahead and use an intrepid sword. And then we're gonna try to hopefully eye down the other guys since we're not going we're not going for the altar creation this game. And sometimes that happens. That's that does happen with ADP. Uh, really awkward start. But we're gonna keep keep going. I don't think he can get a knockout on with Santa Scorch this turn. It'd be really great to top deck a boss's order right now. Oh wow, he discarded a welder. So I think one of my game plans is to try to knock out a Santa Scorch up there. Um, it just depends. So he's retreating right now too. So what do we do? We take the one prize card. If we top deck a boss's order, then we gotta take then we gotta take two prizes. Got it. He's trying to accelerate energy onto that guy down there. So the next question is. Uh, I really don't actually want to play. I don't want to lose all these resources I have here. So what I think we're going to do is attach here. This is actually going to get knocked out no matter what. This is a tough. This is a tough decision to make. One, two, three, four. We'll mining his hand down a little bit. Not too tough to make actually at all. Uh, and if I want to, I can kind of spread out. That attachment came from here. Let's go ahead. Metal saucer over here. And let's go ahead and Marnie. Oh, for, oh almost forgot to play switch. So we are going to go ahead and go for the attack. I don't want to lose all these things. I think those things, they're not going to really be that important later, though. 
unless somehow he can't get three for a 12. He only needs to get three energy onto this Santa Scorch. Eh. Let's just go ahead and play Marnie. I don't know if that's the right play. I don't think it is. So hoping he doesn't have Welder. There's that other water energy we're missing. Um, if he has Welder in his hand and two fire energy, then he will get the knockout on my four. Oh no, just one water. Ah, I made a misplay there. It's just one more. He is going to get the knockout on this dog this turn. Uh, now poses the question if I want to... It really just depends what he knocks out. Okay, so he's going to knock out this dog this turn and take two prizes. Uh, he hasn't attached more energy on there. So I think my game plan, now that I have this water energy here, is to finally get off the altar creation for 4, 8, 12, uh, 16, 16, 200. And then I just kind of got to pray that he whiffs. So even if he attaches there, 4, 8, 12. Four. Right now he's at 4, 8, 12, 160. The max 160. He can get up to 280. So hopefully if I Marnie's hand down, we're going to try this. We're going to try to get the altar creation off this turn. I think that's the right game plan. Um, if I can hit one of those energy switches from earlier. Uh, and then I kind of want him to whiff and then try to target his other guys on his bench. Uh, this could, all I need is an energy switch to get this one from this ADP up here. I'm hoping that, uh, Vitality Band doesn't really make any difference. One less cards in my deck. And I want to hold on to all those other things. I need one energy switch. There's an energy switch. And then I pray that he whiffs, that he just doesn't have, uh, he didn't hit anything else in his hand. So let's go ahead, energy switch here. It's weird to do it this late in the game, but if I can survive through this next turn, if I can top deck an energy too. Um, if I survive this turn with ADP, then I'm feeling a lot better about winning this match. If he drew into Welder and some energy... Uh, Eldegoss, that's how. Well, we're not looking too good now. My uh, buddy would be happy to help you happy watching this match. He was doing Santa Scorch last night, and I came on top of all of those. Uh, exactly for 280, and maybe I want to put in one Big Charm. A Big Charm would be cool in this. Um, I might put the Big Charm in over uh, over Vitality Band. So I don't have a way now I can come back from this, so I'm going to just let them take the knockout. Uh, I do think that was the right play. Um... Boom. Let's go ahead and go into match two. Stone Journer. Okay, I'm excited. I want to refresh myself what this guy does. He's kind of a tanky dude. Attach of fire. Yeah, Stone stone Gift. This is a pretty cool thing. You can kind of loop. Let's see. I had to actually take one mulligan myself.
Let's see. Guard pressure takes takes twenty less damage. Savali. Okay. So pretty pretty solid starting hand. Pretty happy about all of this. Uh, I always kind of debate whether you no know, probably play the Dene first actually because I have more researchers and other supporters in there. So even though we lose all these things right off the bat, I think that's the right way to play that. It's just one extra card. And then we have Crobat and other things in there too. Exactly why I went that route. Let's go ahead, Ver Viridian, and take a look. This is our first search in our deck. So both my water energy on there. So I think all my water, I think I'm running nine seal energy. So I know for sure one seal energy is prized. Uh, I saw my other Dedene. Was my stage one line prized? Yeah, so. One steel energy, a, uh, a copper jaw. One steel energy, a copper jaw. A quick ball, I think, is prized. Yeah, quick ball is prized. So I know, I know what three of my prizes are right now. Let's go ahead and grab that water energy. And we're pretty close to getting off uh, the altar creation this turn. Sad to see it to Dene go. I could save him if I want, wanted to. Um, but I need to be, keep this in mind later that he is going away. It's kind of nice to not always have a Dedene down on my bench at all times. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like we're not getting an Altered Creation off this turn. Um, and we'll just have to pass for now. I think that's the best I can do. Hopefully, he doesn't have anything like Crushing Hammer and stuff. That could also slow me down as well. Um... But this is exactly my point, though. Like, a lot of people have been calling for ADP to be straight-up banned, that he's too good. Uh, I personally think... I personally think if you start combining one one problem with one card, then people said the same thing about Zorg GX two years ago, or a year ago, or whenever he was the one that was dominating the meta. Uh, I think there's always going to be some kind of big guy on top. Uh... Okay, cool. So we're getting Marnade. I'm actually okay with that. Let's go a little deeper into our deck. Ugh. Ouch. <laughs> that Marnie hurt. Uh. Okay, so he had a explosive turn there, and there's honestly not a whole lot I can do right now. I don't think 80, 180, 180, let's see, attach an energy. So I can still two-shot him, even with Alter Creation, but dang, this is a rough ADP hand. I really need to top a dog or something next turn. Um, uh, Marnie really stuck. Max fall 200, so he's going to be two-shotting me anyways. Cool. Really happy that the live stream has stayed up over on Twitch. The biggest problem I'm, I'm having to work with my live stream right now is it likes to cancel out sometimes over on Twitch. It doesn't on YouTube. Um, ooh, did he just Marnie me? Oh, gosh. When I get Marnie, that's supposed to help. <laughs> that's supposed to help me. <laughs> Okay, this is uh, the Battle of the Marnies right now. Let's. This is perfect, actually. Um, sweet. Let's go ahead. Attach the energy there. This is pretty good. We can go ahead and knock out a Dedene, and we also have a Cephale GX. We can knock out at some point. Oh, he's got Kobat V there too. So sweet. This all just kind of turned around all in one turn. Ah. Uh, that was a lucky top deck there. Cool. That was super lucky. And if I, I need to get some good stuff off of these prizes also. 
Um, so I'll grab there. I'll attach three there to this dog down here. Um, and then we also need to need hit a boss's order still. Not too much to ask for. Um, so if I can get a boss's order on my next turn, then I'll get game. I also noticed he was running reset stamp as well, which is a really smart choice too. Uh, I do anticipate that we will get reset stamped next turn. Uh, and honestly, I want to be reset stamped. I want him to reset stamp me because I can't do, <laughs> I can't do anything with this hand right now. Uh, there's a good chance he'll reset stamp me. 